Hello everyone, welcome to a Brickstore quick tip video. Today I'm going to show you how we can copy values from one Brickstore document into another Brickstore file, or in other words, essentially compare two files and find the differences, etc. I'll show you kind of a few features there, and uh, probably the biggest use for this is for those stores who are consolidating parts like we are, when we add pieces to the store, we want to know where something goes. Uh, and the way we used to do this is upload the BSX file to Brick Freedom. It would process it and then return a BSX file for us, which we could then open and look at. But obviously that took a lot of time. And by a lot of time, I only mean maybe 30 seconds. But when you do that multiple times a day, it does add up to multiple minutes, which over the course of a month and a year equals a lot more time. So there's a much faster way to do that in Brick Store. And we recently found it. Obviously, it's been out there and people knew about it and people have showed us and everything. But we didn't realize how simple it really was. Um, so we just recently kind of implemented that. But I want to get into it real quick, make this video super quick. Uh, so we'll start by opening a BSX file. Um, and in this case, this is a file that was opened, or sorry, that was given to us by a cataloger uh, who uh, did, some, did some cataloging for us. Um, and essentially, there are, you know, 465 pieces, 43 lots in here. Not a ton. But let's say, for example, I know that we already have this red 2 by 3 modified plate with a hole in it. Uh, I want to know where it goes, and I want to know what remark and what drawer it should be in so that I don't overwrite that and waste time putting it in a new drawer and then having to go back and put it in a different place later. So there's a there's a very, very simple way to do this built into Brickstore. The first thing we need to do is download our store inventory. So the way to do that, you're to, the way to do that is you're going to go to File, Import, Bricklink Store Inventory. It's going to download your store pretty quickly, and then essentially you can see here is our store completely downloaded, all filled out. Um, every single item that we have and then we're going to go back to the main file that we're looking to uh, kind of copy the values into now here's where the magic happens we're going to go up to edit jog down to copy values from document and then we're going to be given this uh, this little window here now in this case since we only have one document open that is not the one we're trying to copy values into we only have one to select from but you want to make sure you select it from the store file that you're trying to copy from so if you only have one open, that'll be the only option. Click Next, and then this is where we have a few different options. So you can see we can copy in the price, the cost, the tiered pricing, pretty much every attribute of every piece. Um, or we can ignore it. We can copy it. We can merge it, merge the text, or merge the average. So for price, cost, and tiered pricing, essentially if you have a price put into one file and in the other file they are different prices, you can either copy them. Um, which will overwrite whatever's in there. You can merge it, which will only overwrite if it has no price or no cost or no tiered pricing. Or you can merge the average, which will take the two prices together and then merge them together and find the average between the two. Uh, for quantity, you can ignore, you can copy merge, uh, explain merge. And then for uh, remarks and comments, you can merge the text, which essentially is similar to merge. Uh, it'll stick it in there if there's nothing in there. Copy will overwrite whatever you're using. So in this case, because we're only wanting to see where stuff goes, we're going to click ignore on everything. And then for the remarks down here, we're just going to click copy. And then when we click finish, you'll now see that all the remarks are filled in. And that is filled in by what pieces we have. So any piece that does not have a remark, we do not currently have in our inventory, meaning it'll be a brand new item. And then in this case, if you want to search or sort by remarks, you can then add all these pieces here. And then you obviously are shown where these goes here. So very, very simple, not too bad, um, incredibly useful and incredibly quick. Let's uh, say, for example, uh, we removed everything here um, and I just opened this file. All I need to do now if I have my inventory open is open that, click enter twice, and you can see it copied all the remarks back in. Incredibly quick compared to using Brick Freedom. I'm going to keep this video super short, about four minutes here. So thanks for watching and uh, look forward to more Brick Store quick tips in the future.